Ben Hever here from Kingdom May, and I'm joined now with Luis Gonzalez. How does it feel to pick up the win here tonight? Oh, it feels great. Like he's a tough guy. You know, he'll come in. He'll be a tough opponent. Three and zero. The record is good. So tougher than the guys I fought so far. So I was expecting. I was expecting a tough guy. But well, I made quick work of him in the first round. Hit him with a liver kick. I noticed. And I set up through a head kick and I think that's when I rocked his boat. And then he tried to shoot in. And yeah, basically went from there, ground and pound. He was trying to go for a Kimura from basically from um, all fours. I was in Lenny, I was keeping heavy on the back, could have hit his front shots to the head. Yeah. Um, softening him up, sunk in my, neck, my hand, putting one hook in. And then I was trying to release the other one because I was holding tight on it and then yeah. managed to get the really like, choking end. So you mentioned there about trying to get the uh, hooks in. He made you work quite hard to uh, eventually get the two, two in before you could go for the finish. Yeah. Um, had you been working a lot, obviously you're known as a, a submission guy. Um, was that what you was my, working for the fight? Um, my ground game is really good. Um, do you just introduce all the time? Originally, when I first started out, I caught the groundwork was the first thing that came that my body caught and took up straight away. So yeah. I'm always good on the ground. Um, yeah, basically in that position, I was just threatening his neck, trying to distract him, so he was trying to defend, but I managed to sneak it in. He, that's, that's when he um, gave me space to put in my hook, one of my hooks, got better control, and I managed to slip in the other one. <laughs> Took my hand free and everything, and there, there, was, there was the result. And uh, going into this fight, it was a, uh, one of the old school uh, knockout artists versus a, a, a submission guy. Was that um, something that you, you'd made, that you'd done a lot of drills, trying to go for the takedowns? get it down as quick as you can? Um, mainly we're drilling because he, he is the type of fighter if you look at him from his other fights and he loves to basically just try to take you down, double leg you, basically lays and prays on you and then after he wins a round yeah. or he gets into a position where not a lot of fighters have drilled and defend well. But I, was, I worked those situations and just worked my stand up. I'm good at my stand up as you guys can see. Yeah. And yes, yeah, it was just a really good win. I'm happy I, I won it and everything. That's it, so you've, you've now Four pro fights, four submission wins. How does it feel to uh, to be working your way up, still undefeated, and looking on to the uh, the next step? Well, it feels good. Technically, I'm I'm actually five and zero. I fought on a show, but they didn't upload my record, and they've been basically very unprofessional about it. Yeah. UFW, UFW, you know who you are, Paul Webster. Seriously, uh, we used to talk about this, but we just keep mugging me around. But yeah, I'm five and zero, undefeated. It's going really well. I'm normally fight a flyaway. I'm a prospect. Yeah. I'm a Colombian national, national, as you can see, I represent Colombia. Yeah. Colombia, my shorts. shorts. Born and raised Colombia, Colombian, and I speak Spanish, everything. I'm just representing my country, showing that we Latinos know how to fight in the cage, MMA. And as you can see, I'm really good at it. And I'm a prospect in the flower division. I'm doing well. And yeah, just carry on get, just racking up wins and hopefully get into the big show, one of the big shows ever in the near future. Well, uh, we wish you the best of luck along the way, and uh, hopefully we get to see you in action again because it's a great performance out there tonight. Okay, um, can I say? Yep. I'd like to say thanks, to, thank you to everyone, my family and friends that came to support me, um, my grandma especially because she basically frowns upon me doing this, and she this the first fact she's ever attended, so I was really nervous. But I'm happy. I'm, I'm one for it. I got the W. Thank you to my teammates, and my team, Team Titan, always pushing me, to, pu pushing me through the hard situations, making sure I'm the best. Um, Brad Pickett, you're out in America, getting ready for your fight. My, one of my main sparring partners when he's here in London, he looks after me. I'm like his, like his friend. I'm, I love him so much. He's the one that got me this fight. I love him. I love him to bits. Thank you for always looking out for me and supporting me. And thank you to my girlfriend for basically dealing with my moodiness for the past couple of weeks, getting ready for the fight. I love you. And Mickey and Marina, this one's for you guys as well. You guys have a really tough year with everything that you've gone through. And just know, Mickey, you're, you're a legend. You've literally, everything I know and why I'm this good is being at your gym and learning under you. And you're literally the best general in the world and the best head coach anyone could ever have. So love you, Marina and Mickey. Thank you for everything. Love you, Team Titan, my family and friends, everyone. Todos en Colombia, te amo. Gracias por todo, soportarme en este deporte. And thank you. And obviously, one of my sponsors, Mix Massage, Fair, Mix Massage, Mix, ah, Mix. Mix massage therapies for basically always keeping me loose, keeping me injury free. Caspar, you're one hell of a guy. Thank you for everything. And this is the end. Thank you. Thank you so much for, sorry for taking it so long. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.